Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to the new video. So basically this problem number of provinces, it's a very, very, if you have done a bar graph series and if you have watched the graphs uh, for sure, uh, you can just do it this problem very, very, very easily. easily that's, it's just that um, the graph, how it is made, it's a bit different, but if you know the concept, you should try this problem for, by yourself for sure. But cool, um, before further, let's start the problem itself. A number of provinces, there are N cities, cool. Uh, some of them are connected while some are not. If a city A is connected directly with city B and B is directly connected with C, then A and C are called as indirectly connected. Cool. Now, a province is a group of directly or indirectly connected cities. So basically, it is one province. Now, um, you are having an N cross N matrix which says, okay, is connected, which is, okay, I and J, which means A and B are connected, so it's marked as 1, and B and A are connected, so it's marked as 1. If the Ith city and Jth city are directly connected and is connected is 0 otherwise. Cool. Which basically you will you will have a kind of matrix which says that okay A and B are connected when it's one else it is not. So basically for sure we can just easily see that it's a problem of finding number of connected components just that the difference is the matrix is given instead of edge adjacency list. So basically in graph we have the adjacency list where you have A and then you have the neighbors of it let's say B. B has a neighbor A and C like this but now it's a case of uh, adjacency matrix where you will be having a matrix let's say A B C A B C where actually you will say okay A and B are connected B and A are connected and also B and C are connected uh, C and B are connected and like this you will be having such kind of adjacency matrix that's the only difference it is having in this problem that you will just simply and see you can see okay it's one component it's another component answer is two it's one component another component another component answer is three that's reason i just have to find number of components after using this particular graph so basically i have to find the connected components how many components are there graph is given in the form of adjacency matrix rather than the adjacency list that is the only thing which is a quite different in here and I just have to see whenever I am saying to find the connected components or number of components in this graph I have to traverse the entire graph and as a breakpoint which means okay I am starting from a node traversing the node okay I started from a node traverse this entire node okay entire node traverse so it is one component so basically I just start from one node and traverse that if, if I just say okay it is the entire graph right entire graph now it is my entire graph now to traverse this entire graph i will just start from this node and do a traversal entirely so okay one component found now i will again go and visit another node which is not visited let's say this i just traverse it entirely and i will say okay one another component found again i will just do the simple thing start from another node traverse it entirely and say another component found. So basically it is nothing but starting from a node, traversing it entirely and saying okay one component found. Starting from a node, traversing it and Aryan how to know start from which node? Okay simply go and ask him, hey are you already visited? If not then no, no worries at all. If it is already visited then don't traverse it because it has already been traversed. If it is not visited just traverse that entire graph and say okay one component is found. Simple traversal you can do simply by a, a DFS or a BFS and I have said many times I have said many times that whenever you have options to do a traversal choose DFS over BFS if, if there's no difference at all because see the code is very small for DFS just a four lines code that's it so I will just simply traverse the entire graph when the node is already not visited and by this I can find okay one component for this one is for this one for this one traversal will happen for this one for this and one for this that is how you simply find the connected components um simply we'll see the code it's very 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 easy firstly I have some variables initialized provinces which are the number of connected components which are the number of components in this graph 
n just a variable um visited because for sure i want to visit everyone exactly once and as i showed you here also that if it is already visited i will not visit that because it has already been traversed in the entire graph now um the next thing was going on to every of those city and asking hey are you already visited or not if not if not if not only then you have to do the traversal which means you have to do the dfs traversal and for sure make one thing sure that you increase the province because as soon as you land onto a city which is already not visited then you will simply okay so let's say it was not visited then you visited that right but the province is also increased by one you visited that province also increased by one so basically as soon as you visit any node for the first time you know that you will do the traversal entirely that's the reason you will just mark okay one province i have found because one component is this component which which is going to be visited entirely for sure this component will going to be visited entirely that's the reason one province is added now i will just do a simple dfs traversal in this simple dfs traversal what we do we initiate we just do one thing we are on a node we mark that visited and go on to its neighbors as simple as that we are on the node we mark that node as visited and just go on to its neighbors neighbors i can simply go and find with this connected matrix because okay if this node is because as you saw the matrix itself right if it was something like this i am on this node b i will just go on to the entire list of its neighbors which is a b and c b is also its neighbors but yeah for sure uh, b can't go to b so basically we can just skip that or you can also have it it will have no difference at all it will just say okay if b in a is visited which means the neighbor is visited just go and visit a same it goes for c and at the any other neighbor it has so i'll just simply go on to the matrix to have its neighbors and i ask him okay if that is one which means okay that neighbor i can reach from my node so it is actually a neighbor of me and also it should not be visited it should be case that because my basic condition was to visit everyone exactly once so it should, it should not be visited that's the two condition i have and if it is both are true which means it, it is not visited and also it is my neighbor then i'll just say okay go and do a dfs on that neighbor and that is how i'll just simply do an entire dfs traversal and mark every node of that traversal as visited and simply i will just have the entire component visited entire component as visited in the each iteration okay this component like in the next the, this component so on and so forth and simply simply uh where is my that gone yeah and simply where my provinces are found all the provinces are found all the nodes are visited entirely then i can simply return my provinces which is the exact number of connected components and that is all simply the time taken is o of n cross n because you have to traverse the entire matrix to find all the neighbors and stuff and spaces o of n because of that visited the code for c plus java and python is down below i hope that you guys got it it was very 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 easy still i explained the entire component stuff in detail that so that for the people who don't know that but i highly recommend go and watch our webcast series by that you will just easily find and know that okay what's component why it is being done and all that stuff cool that is all see you in the next video but take care